What's going on everybody? This is ODC, that's me, and I'm back with another action figure review. This is my review of the Marvel Legends Infinite Series Captain America the Winter Soldier Winter Soldier figure, also known as the Mandroid Wave. Uh, this is the final piece of the puzzle that I needed for Mandroid, so we're also going to put Mandroid together and complete him today. So, yeah. Feeling a little under the weather today, but not too bad, so. Um, uh, but anyway, Talking about the figure here, it comes in this nice style packaging where you can repackage the figure if you want. Uh, figure looks pretty good. I have seen a you know a couple reviews on it, and the, the figure seems pretty sweet. So uh, it says Marvel Legends down here, Winter Soldier down here as well. Captain America, the Winter Soldier, and this, excuse me on the side, it's got uh, Cap on the side, on both sides, kind of flinging his shield. On the back, we have. The Winter Soldier, as in figure form. The other figures in the wave to complete the Mandroid are Captain America, Red Skull, Hydra Soldier, AIM Soldier, Baron Zemo, uh, Black Widow, Captain America from the movie, and the Winter Soldier from the movie. So let's get him out of packaging and take a closer look at the Winter Soldier. Be right back. Stay right there. Don't move. Don't move. Right there. Nope, stay right there. Not there, but there. Go back to where you were. Okay. Okay, and we're back with Winter Soldier out of packaging, and uh, I like this figure. I like the sculpting. Um, overall, I like the figure. Um, uh, sounds really weird. I, I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's uh, just... Uh, I know it's not just mine. I've seen it in a couple reviews, but... His left arm, his mechanical arm, is uh, is just really got the strangest range of motion I've ever seen. Um, that's kind of why his arm is doing this thing, because if I put his arm straight, that's as low as his, his shoulder will go um, as far as, uh, you know, um, and obviously he does not come with this gun. He comes with this... Um, Horrible monstrosity of a gun that was given with the AIM soldier, which I'll get to in a second. Just kind of doing a pose with him there. And I thought he looked good. So, but uh, switching gears here, let me just get this out of the way. Um, yeah, he, uh, he is very strange, the way his, uh, his arm is. But I'll get to that in a second. Let me get to what he comes with. He comes with... A sniper rifle. Um, I don't really understand why he came with this. He didn't use his gun in the movie at all. <laughs> it's just basically they were like, oh, we don't know what gun to give him. Let's just give him this big rifle that he never used. Okay. Goodbye. Anyway, he comes also with uh, this second head sculpt. The other one is the mast head sculpt, which I'll show you right now. Pop your head off. Chopped your head off. Chopped your head off. Here is the masked face. It's, in my opinion, is the better face. Is the mask masked one? Excuse me, I can't talk today. Been a long week, guys. Been a long week. It's Friday. Hey, I'm looking at faces right now. Here is his other face. Again, yeah, he's kind of like looking up in an upward direction. Kind of look like he's like a. Like he lost his dog or something. I don't know. Who did your mascara? I don't know. But uh, anyway, he comes with those. He does not come with separate hands or anything. He also comes with the very important left leg of Mandroid. So let's put Mandroid together. Get him out of the way for a real quick second. We'll bring in the droid, the man droids, and pop his leg on. Hold on, Knight Rider. Silence, Kit. So there is Mandroid. He is finally finished. Um, there he is. So I will be doing a review on Mandroid. Stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, so there he is. He is finished. Finito, the Mandroid. And yes, I only have one Mandroid. I don't have ten like some people. Just saying. 
<laughs> I'm probably only gonna ever own one. So I'll pop his other head on just to, so you guys can see what it looks like. Uh, hold on. There we go. Okay, now back to the figure here. Um, yeah, definitely the other head is the, the way to go. So now what I was talking about with the arm, okay? <laughs> this is the strangest thing I've ever seen on a figure. <laughs> or one of the strangest. I've seen some strange things. This arm is completely normal, okay? And it still even pokes out a little bit too far. Um, it's so weird the way his, his, <laughs> his anatomy is. Um... I'm still still like this figure. Um, I just don't quite understand what Hasbro was thinking. Um, if, if you got a range of motion that can go like this on one side, right? Now you would think, oh, okay, his arm's just not, oh, no, oh wait, I can't go any further down than this. What in the hell sense does this make? Can somebody tell me, please, please? Makes no sense. His arm goes up about that far, and then it goes down, that's it. Like. Why, why on earth would they ever think that that's a good idea to have his arm stop right there? It makes no sense. It makes no sense. No sense. Sorry. Had to get that out. But uh, overall, I think, you know, if this arm wasn't so awkward, I think he would be a very good figure. But as of right now, I would say in this entire wave, I would say probably the movie version of Captain America is probably the best figure in this wave. Uh, then I would say maybe the Marvel Now Cap, um, the AIM Soldier. Actually, you know what? I retract that. I would say the AIM Soldier is the second best, then Marvel Cap, then uh, the Hydra Soldier, then maybe... Well, then maybe this guy, probably. I don't know. I guess I'd have to do a, a wave overview. I guess I could do that. But uh, me just thinking it off the top of my head, he's probably a little bit ahead of Black Widow. Black Widow, I don't think, think is really that great of a figure. I mean, she's nice, but just because she's rare doesn't mean that she's uh, the best figure in the wave. But anyway, I'm done talking about that. Sorry, I'm not even talking about this figure. I'm just going on a rant. And you guys don't want to hear that. You're probably like, shut up already and just talk about the figure, you stupid idiot. Um, but his head does move side to side, and it can look down as a hinge. He's really stiff. His neck is super stiff. Holy cow. All right, and it goes back that about that far. Uh, the head does pop off, but you can pop back on because of the hair stopping him. So it can do a full 360. His arm on this side goes up about that far and down. And since I have to do two separate ones because Hasbro doesn't get their head out of their ass and realize what they're doing, um, the other arm goes up and down that far. Can do a full 360. Both can. He's got a bicep swivel on both sides. Double jointed elbows on both sides. He's got a wrist rotation. Shut up, phone. And he's got a wrist... Oh, no, wait. Hold on. Maybe it's just stuck. He does have wrist hinges on both sides. This one's frozen. This one, not so much. This one does move, so there you go. He does have a waist swivel and ab crunch, which goes more forward than back. It doesn't go back at all, actually. Uh, waist swivel, there it is. Uh, he's got the uh, T-jointed hips, which go out, forward, and back. Upper thigh swivel. Double jointed knees. No boot swivel. He does have the ankle hinge, which goes forward up. I mean, like an inch, maybe. Not even a, a centimeter. A millimeter. And then goes back, and he does have the nice ankle pivot. So yeah, this guy's definitely very awkward. I don't know. He's just kind of weird. Nice sculpting all around. Great sculpting. Definitely dig the sculpting. He's got sculpting going throughout his entire body. They did a really great job on the sculpting. Uh, you can take his vest off, but I'm not going to take it off. Because it's probably a pain in the ass to get back on. So, just being honest. He does have some sculpting on his uh, little uh, knife here on his back. And uh, his belt, you can move it. I don't think you can remove it, though. Hmm. I don't see a removable peg spot, so I just think it's movable. So, I can dig that. That's fine. As long as he didn't, thank God he didn't come with a gun attached to a holster on his side of his leg. <laughs> I hate that. I really do. 
Uh, but other than that, I mean, I think he's a he's a nice figure. I'll bring in his uh, comic book version here, and you can do a little size comparison. Hold on, let me just set him up. Come on now, girl, work with me. There you go. So there is the Winter Soldier. Uh, they're actually around the same size. They're actually pretty much the same size. So, oh wait, I just straightened his legs all the way. So, um, yeah, I guess he's a touch taller, but not by much. So, there you go. I mean, he, he's a nice looking figure, don't get me wrong. He's just very awkward. It with his arm. Uh, this one, it's funny that you know, it's like the, this figure just has awkwardness whenever they release it. <laughs> this this character. Uh, this one had no ankle pivot, so you had to get him in like some awkward stance. And then, uh, and he had wide jointed hips, which are just blow ass. And then um, uh, this one is just an, got an awkward arm. I'm not sure. Why? Maybe when they were putting on his arm, they just were like, oh, you can only go this far down. And he's like, no, I'm stuck in awkward arm territory. No. Okay. But uh, I'm going to pop this head on because it's, it's cooler looking, I think, in my book. Um, yeah, like I said, he does come with a much needed piece to Mandroid, so if you're trying to finish that piece off, um, or finish the bath piece, then uh, there you go. Um, or, you know, trying to just finish off the wave. You probably need this guy, and he's pretty nice, and I gave him this gun just because it makes a lot more sense, because he actually used a similar gun like this, not the exact same gun in the movie, but a gun similar like this with a rocket launcher on the back, or on the back, underneath the uh, gun. Um, but uh, I don't know, I still think he looks pretty decent. He's a nice um, addition to anybody's, uh, let me just do this so you can see the whole thing, because my lighting is putrid. So there you go, there is my review of the Marvel Legends Infinite Series, Captain America the Winter Soldier, Winter Soldier figure. Um, like I said, uh, he's a pretty decent figure. I think I'd give him a, a thumb and a half. Uh, I, I've taken off half point because of that weird, awkward arm. So other than that, he's got great sculpting, nice paint apps, no paint slop or anything like that. Uh, I just come with that awkward gun, so I took a little bit off for that too. But uh, other than that, I think... Um, He's a solid pickup. Uh, so, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys always on the flip side.